and welcome to Harrow Fire Station. I'm Holly, I'm a firefighter on the Red Watch. The station is located on Pinner Road and was built in 1937. We have three vehicles here at Harrow Fire Station. We have the fire engine, which we call the pump ladder, that attends all incidents, from fires, road traffic collisions, floodings, and numerous other incidents. We also have the hose layer, which deploys hose and transports water over large distances. Our third vehicle is the bulk foam unit. This vehicle is used when large quantities of foam are required to be delivered at an incident. We'll take a look around the pump ladder later, but first, let's go around the station. I'd like to start with the heart, the watch room. Hi, my name's Oliver. I'm the leading firefighter on the Red Watch here, and today I'm going to show you the mobilising equipment. When you dial 999 and ask for the fire service and speak to the operator, they'll be asking you a few questions such as what the address is that you're calling from and the type of incident. The operator will gather all those details and that will come through to the station on the teleprinter and print out what we call a tip sheet. And some of the main things we're looking at on that tip sheet is the address we're going to and the type of incident. So once we've got the tip sheet, one of the things we're looking at is where the address is. If it's not an address that we're immediately familiar with, we'll look at the map. Using the grid reference to find the road and the quickest way to get there. So that's a brief overview of the watch room and what happens when we have a shout. Let's go upstairs and have a look at the kitchen and dining area that we call the mess and see what happens up there. So just as we're going upstairs, you can see along the walls, we've got lots of pictures of local history and memorabilia to Harrow Fire Station. Now we've come into the TV and lecture room. On the wall behind me is lots of pictures of watches, past and present, that are served here. And now I'm going to pass you over to Holly. This is the kitchen and the dining room, what we call the mess. This is where we prepare and eat our food. So let's head back downstairs where I'll show you the pump ladder. But we're going to go down via the pole house. The pole house is to only be used when we're mobilised. It's the quickest and easiest way to get from the upper level to the lower level. This is our fully stowed pumping appliance that we have here at Harrow. We have our breathing apparatus set, which we wear in the event of a fire. We have our cutting tools for our road traffic collisions various lengths and size of hose. In this locker here, we have various different pieces of equipment. Our airlifting bags for road traffic collisions, through to our lines, should we need them, and our immediate emergency care pack, which we use for casualty care. At the back of the appliance is where we hold the ladders, should we need them, and our pump. Our pump holds 1,365 litres of water. We attach the hose here, and can supply water to any fire when needed. On this side of the pumping appliance, we carry things like battery lighting units so we can see things better. We have various sizes axe and sledgehammers, more hose, and in this locker here, we have equipment which we can use for forced entry. Here at Harrow Fire Station, we're attached to a training centre where we have access to a breathing apparatus chamber where we can carry out search and rescue techniques and safe movement. So let's head over to the chamber and see Tony, who's going to talk us through some of that. Hi, my name is Tony. I'm a firefighter at Red Watch Harrow Fire Station. And today I'm going to introduce you to Harrow Fire Station's BA chamber, where we're going to show you one of our colleagues in full PPE, wearing a breathing apparatus set, how they safely go up and down stairs. Follow me. So now we're going to demonstrate what we do is when we encounter stairs whilst we're in a firefighter environment. My colleague will be coming to a set of stairs. Once they've recognised this, where they've got to the stairs, they'll communicate that to other crews and there's a process we use for coming down the stairs. What my colleague has done there is she's not found a set of stairs and she's notified the other crews that she's found the stairs. She's now going to make her way down using her leg to sweep each individual step to make it clear of any debris and to test the integrity of the step, making sure that the weight is across all the stairs. 
She will also be making sure she keeps herself to the strongest side of the staircase. She keeps repeating this process all the way until she gets to the very bottom of the staircase. This would be followed by a double clap to enable the other BA wearer upstairs to acknowledge that sound to know that our colleagues have got to the bottom of the stairs and then the next BA member can make their way down because BA crews are always in twos when entering the building. I'm now going to show you the room that we use to service and clean our BA sets after we've used them, which is called the BA room. So this room, we keep sterile at all times. It's got to be nice and clean for after we've used the BA sets. There's a couple of sinks here on the side that we'll use to clean off any contaminants that are on there, especially after a fire. And behind me in this racking, this is where the full cylinders are kept. So we'll exchange that with the ones that we've used. Thank you for joining us on our virtual tour around Harrow Fire Station. We hope you found it interesting and informative. We hope to welcome you soon in person to come and have a look around our station. Thank you and see you soon.